Hello and welcome, day 21 of 101 Facebook Lives. I'm over here with my Tinkerbell filter, which I think is cute. Everybody out there is trying to be real on Facebook and that's lovely. I'm just over here really using filters. So yesterday, hi Donna, hi gorgeous diva. So yesterday I didn't feel like making a video and I ended up talking about why af because I was eating rolled tacos um, and I was so tired yesterday. But I, however, I ended up talking about why affirmations don't work. Um, love languages for single and married people and buying new lingerie. <laughs> so I talked about a bunch of random stuff in between losing my thought because I was so tired. But I forgot two love languages and those are actually the love languages that it, they were my languages and I forgot to mention them. Go figure. So today I want to continue on. So the two love languages that I didn't talk about yesterday was physical touch and gifts. And I was saying to married people, single people, your love languages, in my opinion, and from what I've learned from coaching married people and premarital people, your love language is something that you need to give to yourself. It's something that you need to receive from yourself because my love language is physical touch and I'm not with Bo 24 seven. So I hug myself. I, you know, I massage myself and release my tension in my body a lot. And that is nurturing to myself. And I feel held and I feel love because I don't want to be a needy person waiting for my husband to come save me. And he comes home from work and I'm just all warped and, you know, needing physical touch. And that just is so kind of desperate. And that's, you know, and that's a burden to another person when you're fully depending on them to give you your love language. So your love, of course, you get from God. And when you love yourself with giving yourself your love language, which to me, I also use this massager. This is my favorite thing because it releases tension. I really need a lot of massages. I have a subscription. And I, I use this every day. And then also after my shower or after my bath, I massage myself with oil. This is my, my cellulite smoothing oil that I love. And I just really take your time to really massage and let that blood flow, let your lymph nodes release toxins and just really touch yourself. If your love language is physical touch, by all means, just touch yourself every single day. And oh my gosh, I, you'll see the huge difference to where you're walking around without being so needy. Because when Bo and I first got married, I depended on him for all my love language. And I was so needy. I was, yeah, yeah, no, it was so, I can't even find the words. Like it was such a burden to the other person to wait for them to give you all the love that you need when you have yourself. And it's always, you have to be there for yourself. Okay, so that was physical touch. For gifts, gifts. Yes, please do give yourself the gift of anything that you desire that makes sense to you financially. And don't wait for an occasion and don't wait to say, oh, I'm going to give myself this gift if I do this or if I lose such and such pounds or if I, I reach this goal. Yes, those, those things are good, but you also give yourself a gift when there's no occasion like buy yourself some flowers, really find the pleasure and 
loving yourself, receiving from yourself, receiving from God, because I like what I mentioned yesterday. You know, we set the standards for how our men are going to treat us. And when our standards are high, when our emotions are taken care of, we are in such a different energy to where it all it almost leads the men in that that are the right men for us because when we're we're in a low place and we're sad and we're kind of like very needy we attract men who are kind of like in a place who were i wouldn't say pray but you know but when you're full and complete you're almost intimidating to men who are not in your level right hope that makes sense but yes massagers body oil for physical touch gifts flowers makeup whatever it is that you that your hearts desire <laughs> um hi alexandria ain't nobody got time for that yeah <laughs> yes so been working on not waiting yes yes you have yourself you are forever going to be by yourself so give yourself the love that you need and this shows your man this shows your partner that this is my standard this is who i am this is what i do for myself this is how my world works and they will be able to step in with you buying lingerie being turned on by yourself because you are beautiful you're sexy you're amazing and you're all of that in a bag of chips okay my dear friends thank you once again and i will see you tomorrow